In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, balance a motorcycle tire and rim uh, using this wheel balancing stand and some quarter, quarter ounce uh, metal weights. These are the weights I'll be using. Um, they come in strips of eight and each square is a quarter of an ounce. On the other side there's an adhesive backing uh, used to uh, stick the weights to the rim. I'm going to be using painters tape to apply the weights to the rim until I determine exactly how much I need for a particular spot then I'll, I'll uh, use the, uh, the backing on the other side to stick them to the rim. The way that you set this tool up is you have an axle here. Um, you got two centering cones and each centering cone has a uh, set screw. Um, you want to attach one centering cone to the axle and set it. Then what you do is you take this piece and you insert it through your rim, center this uh, centering cone, and then come around to the other side and uh, attach the other centering cone and then um, tighten it down. Once you have that in place, you can uh, take your rim and place it on the um, balancing stand, like so. This is how the rim and tire looks once you have it set up inside the uh, balancing stand. You can see how these centering cones fit inside this bearing. Um, this axle is part of the uh, balancing stand. It's not the axle from the bike, and you can see how it fits into these um, uh, I don't know, these wheels here on, this, on the balancing stand. And here's the other side. Once you have the rim and tire set up in the balancing stand, uh, give the tire a spin and uh, the heaviest part of the, the rim and tire will settle at the bottom. And you can see uh, see what I mean here. I'm going to slow it down a little so it doesn't take as much time. So uh, now you can see um, you can see it stopped, it settled right there. If I spin the rim again, it will do the same thing and settle at the same same spot. So I know that that's uh, the heavy uh, part of my rim is at the bottom. Once we know the uh, heaviest part of the rim, uh, the opposite edge of the rim will be our lightest uh, part of the rim. I'm going to mark that with tape because that's where I need to add my weights. Uh, then I'm going to start off and uh, take my uh, painter's tape and add uh, six weights to the tire. And um, see if that works to balance the tire. With the weights on there, rotate the tire um, 90 degrees and see if the heavier part still outweighs the weight you just added which it does so I need to add I need to add seven weights now I've got seven weights on there uh, rotate the tire 90 degrees see if the heavy part still outweighs it which it does slightly so I need to add another weight so I'll go for uh, I'll add eight weights to it now with eight weights on there, uh, rotate the tire 90 degrees, see if the heavy part of the rim still outweighs it. Uh, that's really close. Um, yeah, that's really close. If I added another weight, the weights would be too much and um, the weights that I add would then outweigh the heavy, heavy part of the rim, but that's really close. That's as close as you can get it. But that's what you want um, to static balance a rim. Uh, that's what you're looking for is when you rotate the rim and stop it, it, it stays still or very close to uh, staying still.
Yeah, so that's perfect. Since I have to add so many weights, I have to add eight weights to the rim. I'm going to divide it and put uh, four weights on one side and four weights on the other. Also, before you uh, apply the weights to the rim, make sure you clean off the rim and get all the grease or oil off the rim so these, these weights will stick. Now I can uh, recheck the rim and uh, it looks good. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, uh, when you're static uh, balancing your motorcycle tire, make sure your balancing stand is on a level table. Uh, if you have any doubts about that, you can just take a level, small level like this, put it across the stand that way and then that way and uh, make sure the, the stand is level. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. And hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.